as a medical student, when you come to one of these conferences, it's generally a really exciting thing. Either you're invited by your group, you're invited by um, a part, a special subspecialty that you've been working with, or you've done your own research and were able to give uh, either a poster presentation or a presentation. And so it's a really great experience. The challenge with that comes from you enter a large field. Uh, if you go to one of the larger conferences like Astro, and you find yourself understanding a, a select niche of the radiation oncology field. And that's something I've done. Um, and it, it's excellent because you go to all of those talks that are fit within your field and you really can integrate what you've learned and you can ask great questions and integrate with the faculty. Um, it's a really wonderful experience and I highly recommend that. But something I've learned from having gone to a few of the bigger conferences, I've gone to ASCO and ASTRO and, and presented at both and tried to integrate myself into really getting more out of it. And then just, Oh, I went to present. Um, and I want to enjoy the talks was I prepped ahead of time. I tried to look at the plenary talks, at least like, so the, you know, huge, huge sessions that are going to be a real focus are often not within a field that maybe was your expertise. Like this year, some planers were on, um, breast cancer and I have no experience in that in the radio, in the radiation oncology field. And the same was true for the, um, at ASCO, I feel that it's very important to look ahead if you want to gain the most out of a conference. And it's very easy to struggle to fit planning a conference in obviously as really from any stage of the career, but as medical students, we are trying to fit it in, get everything ready. It's a little intimidating if your presentation is the first time you've given one, uh, but I highly recommend that you take the time to look ahead, plan ahead, read a few papers relating to at least some of the bigger topics that you're unfamiliar with. Uh, so that way, when you do go, you're, it becomes more of a learning experience. I've gone into them without having prepared and thought, oh, this will be educational. And I, I, it's still educational. It's a great experience, but you gain a little bit less. If you've read one or two topics or some of the recent guidelines um, per se, like if you're coming to look at some prostate cancer talks, you can look at the EAU guidelines and CCN guidelines. It puts things into context and the, the need of why the study was being being done and the results and why they're important. It, it really helps you integrate that into your own personal schema. And I think that's helped me very much. Uh, now, when I go to conferences, I feel far more comfortable in gaining much, much more um, from the content being presented, even if it's outside of my field.